Our next suspect shamelessly commits his own in broad daylight. Can I take a picture of me, baby? Can you step out, please? We've been shot. Sorry, I have to go No, I can't get you a beer, man. On July 9th, 2022, in last Yep, must a good job, ladies, gentlemen, kings, queens. I have no idea how feeling today. We got when suspects accidentally admit they are the murderer. Oh, really? <laughs> this has been brought to us by Captain Killers, man. Let's get smooth over. Am I right? Yeah. No, let's make it. I was on the. Don't be starting early. Okay. Let's take a picture, baby. Can you step out, please? We've been shot. Sorry, I have to go talk about that. Okay, hold on, come here. Catching killers. The fuck? Hell nah. Not see how While it typically intro, takes hours of investigative work for police to catch a killer, some suspects fall right into their hands. Here are five cases of suspects admitting to their crimes. Starting with the case of a murderer whose own 911 call would be the same reason he gets caught. On August 5th, oh, 2022, 24 year old Antoine Sims calls Kennesaw, Georgia police with an unusual complaint. A McDonald's has served him cold fries and after refusing to make more, has kicked him out of the restaurant. But when officers arrive, they'll eventually find something on his record that delays Antoine's snack indefinitely. Okay, what's up? Uh, basically, we went in there, purchased some food. I guess there's something wrong with their server. A lady right. before us tried to order on the little box thing. She okay. said that wasn't working. He had to stop us from ordering and go help her. Okay. So it's, he probably frustrated at work. We ordered the food. Um, he couldn't print us a receipt. Okay. Um, so he said the receipt would be printed in the back. Order was called, but we don't even know our order number. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So now our food is sitting there cold. So when I come up, I say, you know, I try to fry the fries or... They're lukewarm, but they're not hot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I just asked him, can we get some fresh, fresh fries? Okay. He said, okay, the fries are not hot. Touch the fries. I said, no, they're not hot. And at this point, you don't touch them. So, you know, yeah, yeah can I just get it <laughs> fresh set? Okay. So is he getting the fries? And I said, can I also get the receipt? I mean, that's that right. was five minutes ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, excuse me, sir. Five minutes ago, I can I can run my store however I want to run my store. Okay. This now. Sir, okay. I didn't pay. He said, matter of fact, you can leave my property. Get off my property now. Right. Or you can come and get, uh, I'll do a refund. I said, sir, with, with um, cash up card, it's three to seven business days to do a refund. Just give me my set of fries and my receipt. That's mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do anyway when I pay for my order. What's your last name? Uh, Sam. S-I-M-S? S-I-M-E-S. E-S. And first name? A-N-T-O-I-N-E. O-I-A-N. E A N T O I A N E. Sims' complaint seems to be that when he told the manager his fries were lukewarm, he was treated rudely and denied a refund. While this isn't necessarily a matter for police, Sims then very much made it one by lying to the officer about the spelling of his name. But when the officer talks okay. to the manager, who also called the police, he gets a different story entirely. So, uh, break it down for me. What happened? He insists that he's, and all his food is cold. Okay. Burning my hands, so whatever. That's okay. you know, not, you know, doesn't I was matter. like, okay, that's not how you spell that. You better give me fresh fries, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. What? Here's a little old lady, and she mm -hmm. just came up to us and said, Give me talk to the police. It's like, No, I, mean, I got this. Starts losing it, starts shoving his food at me. Mm -hmm. And I said, Sorry. He said, Actually, well, tell you what, you can take your business elsewhere. Give me a card, give me a refund. No, you're not going to give me an effort refund. You're going to give me a I took his food, so he's got nothing to shout at me, because next thing you know, he's throwing mm -hmm. his drink at me. Mm -hmm. So I took his food, took it to the Sprite, put it in the trash. Here's your, your give me your card, I'll give you a refund, take your business elsewhere. Please don't come back. Okay. Scream at me, I want to see T. Did you give him his refund? Like, is that all part of it? refused to. Okay. You're not going to give me your Okay. The manager claims that despite Make trying to rectify oh. his complaint, Sims became violent, throwing a drink at him and generally causing a disturbance. Oh. He tells the officer oh, about Sims' ankle monitor, likely signaling a serious criminal oh, offense, shit. and chooses to have him trespass. Here's the deal. As a business owner, he has the right to not remake your food. He is willing to do a refund. He has no problems doing a refund, but he's not going to remake your food. As a business Almost owner, he can do that. Okay. Um, Man, he does not want you coming back in the store. He actually wants us to criminally trespass you, so you will not be allowed back at this no, McDonald's. I, I don't even stay here. I keep... It doesn't matter. He's requested it. We got to do it. It's not a big deal. It's a so piece of... Charge me? No, we're not charging you. It's a piece of paper we're going to give you that's going to say, hey, you can't come back to this McDonald's. That's all it is. Like this is, a, this is yeah, this is completely civil. This so... Civil yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, no, I don't want to no, complain about it. Um, no, no, so, fine, I just, I'm just don't understand what I did wrong with this. No, you're good. All right, so hang out with him. I'm going to get that form. It's a simple form that says, hey, just don't come back to this McDonald's. Now, I'll tell you, if you do come back to this McDonald's and oh, we no, get I'm caught not, out here, no, no, you go to jail. I'm not. All right? I'm not. I, I got a smart. So... 
Um, you cool with the refund? Uh, yeah, so okay. I just gotta go in okay. there and tap my car. Yeah, again. I will get that in just a second. Sims wisely agrees to the terms of the refund, but when the officer Lightly. enters his real name into the system, alarm oh, bells man. signify his fugitive status. Wanted person, caution, violence, armed and dangerous. All right, Mr. Oh. Sims, come over here. I'm gonna have you sign this. That's crazy. No, sir. Just come over here, I'm going to have you sign this real quick. I said I'm not under arrest. No, no, you're not. Yeah, just come over here, I'm going to have you sign this real quick. You have to sign it saying that you don't yeah. have to come back to the property. So you'll fill this part <laughs> out. Look at him. Can I see it, sir? Yeah. Red flag. Yeah, come over here, man. No, I'm, I'm afraid of y'all, sir. Why are you afraid? I've three years, sir. I'm afraid of All right, I'm, I'm going to walk you through. I'm, I'm, Why are you I'm doing afraid. that? I know how to fill it out, Why are you sir? doing that? I know how to fill it out. Am I All right? right? Yeah. No, look at me here. Look at this thing. It's on the... Oh, this thing is on the finesse. This thing could die for him. Okay. Okay, hit feet then, nigga. Hey, that caution. Hey, I respect it. He went crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Car, car, car. He went crazy. Take a shot of finesse. <laughs> Why are you doing all that? Stop it, bro. Get away from me. I'm gonna walk you through it. Funny as hell. Got him! Contact! Oh, shit. Contact back, oh, side, back side. After being You're tracked to a days. nearby apartment building, Sims is eventually taken into custody. Recently released on bond for an alleged murder, cold french fries and an old warrant may have sent Sims back for good. While Sims may have got himself caught in the dumbest way imaginable, our next suspect yeah. actually does it intentionally. I confessed to a murder. I was on meth really bad. Okay. And I killed him. <laughs> I thought the nigga was laughing. I'll on May 31st, 2023, in Roswell, New Mexico, 37 year old Tony Peralta calls 911 to report a shocking crime. But the alleged suspect happens to be someone very close by himself. Sir, tell me exactly what happened. Well, I killed somebody. Oh, all you right. You killed somebody? Yes, sir. All right. Okay, and you said you're at no. the all steps over there at Country Club in Maine, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Hold on one second for me, okay? I'm gonna get some help over there for you. Help my ass. We're at. What's the address? I don't know. You don't know? No, sir. How'd you get over here? You walked? Yeah. Okay. This is a long time ago, is what he's saying. I'm just trying to cover it up. Right? You try to cover it up? Yeah. The it's guilt? Oh, wow. uh, yeah. You're doing okay? You're all sweaty. Did you run here or? No, I drank. Oh, you drank all that water right there? No. Would you show me where it's at? What? If I took you, would you be willing to show me where it's at? Do I have to go there right now? Well, that will be know where the, yeah, the house is. Okay. I'll let you finish your, your thing. Let's go. Officers arrived to find a sweaty and admittedly drunk Peralta sitting on a curb with a transient. He claims to have committed a murder years prior and is willing to cooperate. But when he's taken in to be questioned by detectives, it will prove easier said than done. I've been drinking. You've been drinking? Yeah. Okay. It's my understanding you called us, is that correct? Hell yeah. You want those off? Yeah. You called us, but it's kind of mixed messages. They had handcuffs in there. I killed talking. somebody, Jesus, and I buried him. Okay. Do you feel like you're able to leave if you if you wanted, or do you want to be here? Hell yeah. You want to speak I confessed to a murder. Okay. Yeah. How much, how much have you had to drink today? A lot. A lot? Yeah. Just... Wait, when you find his fucking body, do you it'll okay. make you feel better? Is that his house? That'll make you feel better? Hell yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't want to live with this shame anymore. It's my understanding you're willing to take us to the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Did it happen at the house? It did. It did? I was, I was on meth really bad. Okay. And I killed him because he didn't give me no money. And I buried him in his house. That's so fucking crazy. In his house. Do you remember his name? His name was Bill. How long ago? I don't know. It's a long ago. Damn. Don't ever say. Don't kill nobody that you don't have to. Alright, Tony Quill. Damn, what? bro. Give me a sec. We're going to go... It's tough, car, man. Want to do that. Stay away from drugs, y'all. Yeah. Liquor, one thing, but yeah, Peralta confesses to thing. murdering a man named Bill, but is vague on details. While willing to take detectives to body, finding it will be another matter. Here's the deal, brother. No. We need some more details. All right, what do you want to be able to prove it? Okay. So let's start at the beginning. Okay. What year do you think this was? I don't remember. How old do you Shit. think you were? I don't remember. What if you don't remember the year, then... I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember? I don't All remember. Right. I just know that I killed him. Why do you know that? Because you've known that. I know that I killed him and I kept it a secret. I was high and I didn't give a fuck. Okay, what were you high on? Meth. Meth? Smoke it or shoot? I shot it. Shot it? How much did you use a day? A lot. A lot? Are you still using? No, sir. No. 
that's yeah. probably why I'm. I was about to say. So to... why? Would, what was the reason that you killed him? I don't have a reason. He you said reason. before. Well, we gotta go see if he's in there. Okay. But how'd you kill him? I killed him. I was about to say. Do you, you remember that? Me? No. You remember that, I mean? Did you hit him with a bat? I killed him. How'd you kill him? I don't remember. Where's he at inside the house? I don't know. Huh? Nah, walk me in there. Where did you bury him? On the side house right there. What part? Right. What part right there. Yeah, yeah, but what part of that? Bro, don't. I'll start the BS. Uh, left side. The left side? Yeah, if you dig in, if you pull the board up and dig him up. How deep is he buried? Not very far. Not very far? Nope. Are we talking like inches? Yep. Or like feet? Mm, inches. Are you Besides under the influence of anything right now? Yeah, I'm drinking alcohol. You've been drinking? Yeah. You want to wait and talk to us once you're sober? Uh, yeah, can you take me to the police station or what? No, we're going to leave you here for right now. What do you mean? Because we got to do this, so you're going to stay here. Okay. If we find something, then obviously we'll have more to talk about. But we need details to start working on this, so if you can I already it, gave you every single detail. Right, but there's a lot of I don't know. So I'm saying if you start to remember those things, otherwise you're going to stay here for a little while. Okay. Okay. And if this is a lie, you're going to be charged that's with false the way to... With Peralta either unable that's or unwilling to give but... more information about his supposed crime, he's brought back to the station and given food to help sober up. False reporter. Damn. You know, I, got I got him with Alex. I hate onions. I didn't... I know how some people are. You either hate them or you love them. I was about to say Have something. Have you been here for a little while? Never mind. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened, man. I'm not a burger, nigga. I would be pissed if the nigga brought me a burger. Okay. Why? What happened? <laughs> I don't know. Fuck, bro. I've, I've been told his name is Bill. Uh, but it's really w William, right? I don't know. Do you remember? What the fuck? What, what happened? Why? Why? I just remember I just needed to confess. That was it. How did you do it? Do you not remember or you just don't want to say it? I just don't want to talk anymore. Alright. Well, talk your shoulders now, man. <laughs> Fuck. I don't, env I don't envy no damn offers just for damn sure shit not. You're welcome. You're welcome. No problem. <laughs> shit, man. Why don't, why don't you tell me Weird why positioning. you decided to come forward? It's just not comfortable. Yeah. Okay. He's been eating at you for a while? Fuck yeah. I know this is probably the... A, bi a big hard decision you had to make. Yeah. You've been thinking about it for a while? Every day. Shit. Yeah, I mean, I can imagine his family. You know, he, he was an older guy, but... You know, his family... Ne never knew what happened. His son is the one that reported it to us back then Damn. about not being able to get a hold of his dad. Why didn't anybody say anything after that? Why did everybody just let it fucking slide? Peralta's victim and former landlord, 69-year-old William Blodgett, was reported missing by his son in January of 2009. Peralta was later found to have murdered Blodgett during an eviction shit? dispute one month prior, stabbing him to death with a screwdriver before burying him under the four oh, of his wow. own house. Tony Peralta pulled guilty to second-degree murder and was sentenced to 15 years in prison. While Peralta confessed his gruesome crimes after years of hidden guilt, our next suspect shamelessly commits his own in broad daylight. Can you step out, please? We've been shot. Sorry, I can't go front No, I can't get you a beer, man. On July 9th, 2022, in Las Cruces, NM, Fatima Ortiz and boyfriend Carlos Picaro are returning home when a long standing neighborly feud quickly turns into a deadly ambush. Their neighbor, 80-year-old James Frog Theriel, suddenly opens fire, Frog? striking the couple multiple times in a barrage of bullets. Oh, wow. Hands behind your back. What? Hands behind your back. Ow. Let's go. Come on. Sorry, I had to do this. Sorry, I had to do this. Okay, go contact. The severely injured couple flee to their home to call 911, and as officers arrive on scene, they find their perpetrator waiting. Police department! Can you step out, please? We've been shot. Okay. They shot at us from the back. Okay. Look at this. 
My boyfriend is better in the back and in the front. Two GC victims, one shot in the back, one shot in the arm. Officers find a panicked and injured Fatima begging for help. Although shot multiple times, her wounds appear non-fatal. Carlos, however, shot in the chest and bleeding out on the oh. floor requires immediate medical attention. As Carlos clings to life and Fatima screams, the Alt is taken into custody to be searched. Yeah, do nothing, man. Right on, man. We're just doing our job, okay? We're just, it's just precaution, okay? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, it's the vibes. What's wrong with the legs? What's wrong with you, sir? Do you need medical attention, sir? Are you injured? Maybe no. Uh, no? Okay. Do you know the son's name? No. How old do you think he is? The one I told you hi earlier today, how old do you think he is? 23 years old. 23 years old. Okay. And you said he was here? Her face is happened? fucking throwing me. He may have been here. There's a good chance he may have been. I was excited, I don't know, but he was usually at the house of the man that you guys just took in. Frog. Neighbors tell police that Frog's transient son sometimes stays at the apartment and may have been there at the time of the shooting. As Fatima is loaded into the ambulance, she confirms it was Frog who shot her, but says it may have been his son Cody and Cody's girlfriend Erica who encouraged it. He doesn't understand a whole lot because of his English, he's from Mexico, but dicen que los dos niños se que... They don't like each other because they were arguing over the grass. Who? The uh, frog and. Yeah. And they were arguing over the grass? Yes. This morning? Or. No, sometimes. They hate each other. Arguing on the grass or over, over it? Or really over it? I thought it was over drugs, but frogs don't do drugs. All he does is drink beer. He's 81. The neighbor tells police that frog and his victims hate each other. And this most recent dispute all started over a patch of grass. Come on. Yeah, Yo, you cannot be dead ass. Fuck, oh, man. Bring out this leg. You're right. I'm, on, uh, cool. I'm not gonna unhandcuff you. Come on. I'm not a dangerous criminal. Uh, You're not, huh? Hey, nigga. Hey, but I, I bet you don't feel 81 though. You still feel a little bit younger I, I, than that. I right? feel like about 90, 91. Right? 91. All right. <laughs> While it may seem unprofessional for officers to joke around the murder suspect, building a rapport will increase the chances of Frog's continued cooperation. We know, we know. We, we know they're not really enjoying this thing. It's company. Medical? Medical a beer? A beer? Yeah? No, I can't get you a beer, man. That's not gonna help us. You ain't that lucky. Mind if I call you James? Oh, man, do you want Frog? I call you Frog? Okay. That's been my name since when I was in the army. Yep, yep. Why do they call you frogs? Military niggas, man. I was the only freshman there. I bet. And they called French people frogs. Oh, really? And I didn't know that, but I liked it. I didn't know that either. Better being called a son of a bitch. Well, there you go, see? I'm yeah. not the bad guy. All right, uh, James, the reason we want to talk to you is about the stuff that happened out there, okay? Know, that's but, terrible. I've been living there for four years. Okay. And I love it there, you know? It's nice and quiet and everything. And then these people move next door to me. Yeah, about a year and a half ago. You pretty fresh and, here too, homie. You would have thought you had a decade. Work this people, you know. Oh. And they, just, and they called the cops on me like four or five times for no reason. You know, sometimes I'd be out there drinking a beer and they come out. And, so anyway, uh, today they called the cops. I was going to say, talk about today, buddy. They called the cops because my son was there. Because mm -hmm. my, my son had a, like, a little fight with his with her son, which he doesn't even live there. And then she started yelling at him and yelling and everything. And my son took off with his girlfriend. And then, they, uh, you know, all of a sudden, she came out and started, she was yelling at me because she does it all the time, you know. Right. And these people, her boyfriend, uh, he's a pretty big guy, you know, and he's already, more or less threatened me a couple of times because he, you know, he's a lot bigger than him, I guess. So anyway, they were gone, <laughs> and I was sitting outside, I was drinking a few beers. He decided to strap. I am afraid of him, and her too. So I did have a gun outside. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. in the army. Mm -hmm. I have a right to bear arms. You know, and I'm afraid that they you know, did, did get a chance to hurt me. So I was just sitting there drinking a beer, and when they walked by, she started yelling again, and I said, shut, no, shut up, and then he started coming towards me. So I reached over there, and I grabbed it, and it happened so fast, I don't remember what happened. I know I, I, I shot him. 
Bessie story there, buddy. The attentions were high, bucko. Uh, Keep it a K. Huh? James Frog Theriault is charged with first degree murder, Attended. attempt to commit felony, yeah. tampering with evidence, and conspiracy to commit tampering with evidence. After oh, deliberating he, he for a mere three one. hours, the oh, jury found okay. him guilty. It's currently awaiting sentencing. Shooting your neighbors is bad enough, but how does it compare to killing your girlfriend friend. and keeping the body in your house for a week? I shot her. Okay, hold on, come here. Oh, she's down. What? I got she's down. So on December 15, 2022, in Independence, Kentucky, an HR manager calls 911 to request a welfare check for 32-year-old employee Amberly Harris. She hasn't been seen or heard from in a week, and a tumultuous history with 55-year-old boyfriend Tommy Powell has her employer like worried. But when officers on. arrive to speak with him, their worst fears are immediately so realized. All right, one more time. Hey, wait a minute. Is Amberly here? One more time. Employee Amberly Harris. She hasn't been seen or heard from in a Worried. But when officers arrive to speak with him, their worst fears are immediately realized. Oh, okay, okay. Hello. Wait a minute. Is Amberly here? No. Amberly? Really? She passed. Oh. Away. How do you know that? Oh, okay. What? You did what? <laughs> I, know you. I shot her. Okay, hold on. Come here. Where is she? Oh, right, well. I think I'm gonna put just put your hand to my back. Where Brady, is watch, she? Watch inside, Brady. What? Independence, please make yourself known! Look at this, the, the state known. of this place. Yo, that's spooky as shit. I would, I would not be a fan of walking down that. Yeah, uh, okay. Just make you want to watch a cop show or something. Watch your shit. footing. Watch your footing. Clear in here, right? Huh? Clear. Independence, please, here! Make yourself known! Alright, buddy. Go. Where are you? <laughs> what? Anybody else would have heard? Powell confesses to shooting and killing Amberly, and after officers search the apartment, discover her decaying corpse in one decaying. of the back rooms. 26, information, our male subject answer door just admitted to shooting our victim here, so we're trying to figure out further. Four, What's your name? Tommy. Okay. Yeah, we'll work that out in a second, but I gotta make sure my guy's inside or not. Okay. Is there anyone else inside? Is it just her? All my pups. Okay, is it just Amberly? Right. When did all this just happen? Sunday night. Except Monday morning. Sunday. Monday morning. Do you have any weapons on you? No, sir. Right. You're good, Tommy. Just hold on, man. Hold on. No, you're not good. But, uh, yeah, um, we're, we're, we're just gonna figure everything out real quick, shall we? I don't know. This thing can smell like bear six. Um, is there a gun that round? Is a gun playing view? There's a gun in one of the rooms. Yeah. No, the gun's out of the bed. A cooperative Powell tells police the location of the murder weapon before being taken to a cruiser for further questioning. While he does provide reasons for the murder, he, he seems nah. sickened by them. All right, do you want to tell me what happened here? We're fighting. He's trash. I'm going to say it again. Okay. Right. When were you guys fighting? Sunday morning. Sunday morning? What started the fight? Her trash my shit. What was it? I'm so, what was it? She was selling my TV and stuff. Okay. And then what happened? Nah. You what now? I lost control. Lost control? What made you lose control? I don't lose control. My bad. Are you okay? Nah. So it's when you say you lost not. control, what do you mean? What'd you shoot away? Independence 19 to 30. 20 gauge. 20 gauge. All right. Tommy, you okay right now? Oh. Right. I'm going right. to keep my eyes on you, but I'm going to roll down this window a little bit, all right? Yeah. Do you remember what date, or was it Monday when you shot her, or was it Sunday? Do you know what today is right now? How long have you been inside the house for? Three or four days. I was gonna say, open the, the door. We can't not hear nigga. No you have no You've been in shock since. Yeah. A near catatonic Powell claims to have shot Amberly with a 20 gauge shotgun days earlier, before entering a state of shock he's been in ever since. What is it? I can't hear you, Tommy. Yeah, me neither. You don't want to watch her come out? 
I can move the car. Just give me a second, because there's they got to go in there and figure it out, you know. At this point, I don't, I mean, he said she's been in there since Monday, so I'm assuming she's not, but they got to make sure she's not, right, before they just take her. Go for the office meat truck. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, real quick, you don't got it. You don't got anything, right? No. All right. We're going to go to the office, okay? And then you're going to speak to uh, Officer Strine there. Powell is now taken into the station to be questioned by detectives. He continues to be cooperative and will be treated with the same amount of respect. So what's your name, That's brother? tough, man. Uh, I'm Detective Strine. Uh, with the Defense Police. This is Detective Young, McDowell's mirror. I don't know anything, man. I was at home, just kind of hanging out. Um... Apparently we got a call to your home. You looked up. What's going on? You shot your girlfriend. Okay. So real quick, who who lives there? Who whose name's on the lease? Mine. Your name's on the lease. Okay. So real quick, man. Um, do you mind if we search your residence? You don't mind if we search? Okay. Do you mind signing a document and allowing us permission to search the residence? Okay. Also, do you, do you mind cuffing him? And Bad situation. Is, is, it don't have to happen. Search him again real quick. Yeah. Okay. You can't feel bad for these niggas though. At the same time, I'm search like... you again just to make sure there's nothing in it. Front? Yeah. Handcuffing? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All it takes is one to be a lot more comfortable. You still be able to drink your drink every time, okay? You want anything to eat, man? You want anything to snack on or anything like that? I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put them on in the front. Yeah. A lot more better for you. I know you've been really cooperative with these guys, okay? Um, so here's what I'm gonna do real quick. You've already been read this stuff before. I'm gonna read it to you just because this is the first time I've interacted with you, okay? And I just want to make sure you understand each of these that I'm gonna ask you, okay? I'm sure you've watched cops back in the '90s and whatnot. You know how they oh my gosh. talk to people, okay? I got it. I'm old. So you're right, you said. Okay, so I'm gonna read back to you just because, okay, man? We have officers that are at your house right now, okay? Uh, obviously, we need to be able to kind of process that scene effectively, and what'll make that scene processing a little bit easier is if you take one of this consent to search form and allow us access to search your own. Is that okay? So how it works is that you're gonna sign your name right here. You've been informed by me with the Independence Police, having made proper identification as a law enforcement officer. And if you want to, if you want me to read this to you, I can. But you understand that this is just as consent to search your residence, right? And giving us authorization to go to your home and search the residence. You give us permission, correct? Already waiving his right to an attorney, Powell refuses to be read the documents giving police permission to search his home. When it comes to clearing his conscience, it appears Powell has chosen the path of least resistance. What you sorry for? Well, like Detective here said, we appreciate you being cool with us. I mean, I go somewhere, you know. Bullet. Have you tried to communicate with anybody since Sunday, by any chance? No. Not like like family members, any other friends, her friends, perhaps. You haven't tried to talk to them at all. Okay. Did you go anywhere since Sunday? That's how you know it was just just a bad like. Should it? deny it to happen. The liquor box. Is that the one up near the gas hole in that area right up there? What day was that? Do you remember? You said it was Tuesday. You a Marlboro man or what do you drink? Do you uh, smoke Newports or what? Anything? <laughs> Anything is nasty work. You can get your hands on. Anything you can get your hands on. Make them sound like a what, fiend, but what <laughs> that's what it be. Like your I don't think I've tried that one yet. I've always gone with you. You in the same ship on both. school lucky strikes, but I'm usually a Marlboro guy myself. So. Yuck, bro. So you left Tuesday to go get you a pack, a couple packs of cigs. Yeah. Cigs is bad vibes. The rest of the time, did you go anywhere else? How did you get up there? To the liquor box. I know it's not. I mean, did you oh. walk up there? Did you drive oh, up there? I drove the car. What kind of car does she drive? A RAV4. A RAV4? Okay. Check off a couple things real quick, Tommy, and then uh, we'll, we're going to see what we can do to get you get you squared away, man. We don't want to take too much more time here, so uh, just give me a minute. His time is up. I, I don't know why you... They, they be so funny, bro. I mean, I get what they doing, you know what I'm saying? Make their job simpler, but... We got, I, I don't know you, man, but... 
You've been cool with me, but that's why I want you in the front. They're a lot better in the front than the back, right? <laughs> He is not right, Tom, amused, here's what's going to happen, man. We're going we're to button some stuff up here, and we're going to take you down to the hospital and get you checked out and uh, take care of business there, okay? And then we'll, we'll see what the next phase is. Hang tight here for me. Mm -hmm. Man. Okay, we're gonna hold your hands out the best way you can. Okay, give me a favor. Turn sideways, face that way a little bit. Towards that way. There you go. Perfect. Very cool. Try to stand up for me, okay? It's tough, Perfect. man. After being photographed, Tommy is taken to the hospital to be medically evaluated. Yeah, when we get you taken care of, he's gonna tell you to get up here. Let's get you taken care of, okay? Send up for me, Tommy. I gotta put these behind you again, okay? Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, we're free. Good enough. Put your hands back behind your back for me. So he's in custody, obviously, and, he, and during our interview, he says he feels like he's going to pass out. Okay. The squad checked him out. He says he hasn't eaten in several days. Um, Damn, bro. Did you take him your medicine or no? He says he hasn't taken his Depakote, Seroquel, and what else? Trazodone. Trazodone. Okay. okay. So we need to get medically cleared to take the officer tells medical staff that Tommy hasn't taken his mental health medication for days, including Depakote, Seroquel, and Trazodone. Suddenly stopping these medications is not recommended, as patients may experience extreme and painful physical and mental withdrawal. Shit, man. That's, so, that's the thing about meds. Or do you want them to step out a little bit? Having to rely on some shit. We can't leave. He's in our custody. Okay. Oh my gosh, I was about to say, <laughs> the same part of day protocol. He's told us everything that we need to know and everything's going on with him. He's okay. been a good man, yeah. And so what brings you here, though? Okay. Okay, now did you feel sick right after this happened? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. You didn't take any medicine? Until I get relieved, <laughs> I cop the and buddies and so <laughs> then after the hospital treats you, you're going to the jail. As Powell waits to be medically cleared, he appears to not want the officer to leave the room. Perhaps after being alone with a dead body for days, he could use the company. Call your bullet for you. Not calling nobody. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> He will leave today. Oh. I'm not going nowhere, Tommy. Yeah, you will. No, I'm not. Oh, you won't? Fuck, no. bro. You won't? Oh, you won't? No, it's you crazy. Hit me again? Yeah, I will. Do you? Oh. Yeah. Do you want to hit me again? You don't play it again? You want to come in here and knock Man, me I ain't trying to hear that. again? I ain't trying to hear none of that, bro. Yeah. Come on, bro. Is that what your boyfriend thinks? I don't have another boyfriend. Another. Oh my gosh, a jealousy oh, no. thing. I'm good. And then she's Oh, and do you want to threaten to throw the puppy out again, too? Oh, man. You want to beat on These her, too? This situation is so crazy. So, no. Oh, whoa, that's a jump scare. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Creepy that's as shit. That's not what I heard you doing this morning. What are we talking about? I'm not lazy. I'm about to go to work. Who laid out of work you know because what? they... Don't burn me! I about had enough of that sh**. So get out! Come on. Hug up, after police search Powell's residence and find Amberly's cell phone, they discover disturbing cell phone video that details their troubled relationship. It was soon discovered that just prior to Amberly's death, a $20,000 life insurance policy had been procured in her name. Tommy Powell was listed as the beneficiary. Oh. After pleading guilty to the murder of Amberly Harris, Powell was sentenced to life in prison. But as disturbing as that was, the case of a knife wielding man in England is what downright horrifying. Oh, oh. There's a bond on your head as well. What is it, a lighter? Yeah. Hey, stop playing fire. What are we talking about? On October 5th, 2021, in Gloucestershire, England, again? years of seething hatred for neighbors Matthew and Sarah Borman, the 52-year-old, can arsel into a horrific act. Oi! You stand still now! Don't you 
can go down there. What no. is going on? Stop. Why are you chasing this thing? Do I see down. blood already? Is shit already happened? Put it down. No. Despite a good Samaritan's best effort, a craze Arslan is able to break into the Borman's property armed with a knife. Oh, wait, oh, he was attacking some. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, you, you. This thing is bugging. Arslan stabs shit. Matthew multiple times in the ensuing scuffle. He later succumbs to his injuries. Sarah is injured while wow. coming to her husband's aid, and neighbor Peter Marsden is stabbed eight times yet manages to escape. Damn, what a troop. Hey, this thing about the smoke is Man, it, it's, it's, it's becoming apparent at this point. You you sick smoking niggas, bro. But damn, just, just being a, a Samaritan, ending up, I'm not gonna lie, putting your life at risk for, you know what I'm saying? Another's well-being, that's that's not, I don't know how to word it, like, really not your responsibility, really, but, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's very commendable, you know what I'm saying? Round of applause for the, uh, good people of the world, but damn, bruh, <laughs> getting stabbed for that, um, uh, yeah. Look at this nigga here. This has got a golf club. Oh yeah, we ready to get busy, buddy. You better watch the fuck you do. Police arrive and detain you better a hit his hand. who threatens officers with bounties doing. and makes wild claims about being in special forces. I ain't think about it. He should have hit him when when he had the thing. He would never gotten this. I am fine on my own. Everyone else. Shit went for the ass, not his body. There's a bunt on your head. I'm, I'm fine here, mate. The knife is there. You're uh, next. No, what is going on? Can what are you talking about, sir? Canvas these people and check if this is the only suspect. Oh, it is. <laughs> the only suspect. This is that guy. <laughs> He's dead, isn't he? I warned you. The body is one year. Look, oh, this nigga is... Wow, okay. Is he bragging? Nah, yeah, you're done. You're cooked, buddy. What a fucking sicko. Right, are you happy to tell me your name now? I think I know what it is, but you haven't actually told me. What's your name, please? So you're not gonna search you. What's your name, okay. please? So what we're searching you for is anything that can harm us. Mate, anything what's your name? Anything that can aid you to escape, okay? That should look like something you put dogs in. Against my son, my wife. What is is this music added on? The fuck is this? No. Is this a horror video? I do I do believe you, but I don't believe that they're causing you any harm and it's They are, I have arthritis. Right, okay, it's proportionate to the effect of the of you, mother look, like I'm the ten people. There's a bond on your head as well. Hey, there's no point frightening us, is there? Yeah, I hear it. Pussy. Arslan had previously been diagnosed with a paranoid and antisocial personality disorder, yet refused medication or treatment. A week before the killing, he'd been charged with harassing the Bormans and was out on bail. He was sentenced to a minimum of 37 years in prison. If you enjoyed these videos, go love when yeah, corrupt wrap cops it up, buddy. caught red-handed. Man. Oh, boy. Hey. Damn, bruh. It's like every time I see a video, it just... It just con I'm just constantly reminded, like, this shit is, like, this shit is normal. Sad, as sad as it is, this shit is normal. Like, shit is constantly going on around the world. Shit going under people's noses, shit going under the radar. Some shit niggas don't know about, like, man, it's this world, man. I'd, I pray for it constantly. Hey, man. <laughs> Uh, a lot of saving needs to be done, cause man. But anyways, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Link subscription getting tuned. Y'all stay safe, man. Be good people, you know.
Good boop, 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 boop. Good boop.